We've been talking about benchmark fractions, but today we're gonna to actually use them to estimate other math problems. We're gonna talk about estimated differences, estimated sums, and whether they're reasonable or not. So remember, a difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, a sum is the answer to an addition problem, and reasonable means could it be? Does it make sense? So let's cut out our next page and glue it in. Okay, now that we've learned what benchmark fractions are, let's use them to estimate sums and differences. So in real life, it doesn't always matter that you get the answer exactly right. You might just wanna know about how much something is. So let's look at this math problem. It says Jimmy ran three eighths a mile yesterday and one tenth of a mile today. Is it reasonable to say that he ran one mile altogether? Hmm, reasonable means it could make sense. So does it make sense if he says I ran a mile? So let's work that out. So A says to round each fraction to a benchmark fraction by visualizing it. Okay, so let's think of three eighths. If we visualize three eighths, hmm, where could that be? Well, I'm just gonna kind of look at this model right here and visualize three eighths would be about right there. And that looks to me like it's in half of the front half or maybe even close to half. So I'm gonna say that I'm gonna round three eighths to one half. I think if you did it to one fourth, you would be okay there too. Sometimes a fraction is right in the middle of two benchmarks and you can pick either one. So now let's do one tenth. Well, if I have one tenth, that means I'm only gonna do one little bitty piece. One little bitty piece is probably closest to zero. Maybe it's close to one fourth, maybe that would work, but I think in this case, we could say that one tenth would round to zero. The closest benchmark fraction to one tenth is zero. So now let's do some math. Remember, we were saying that Jimmy ran three eighths, so he ran about a half on yesterday and one tenth today. So today he did not run very much. He barely ran anything. So is it reasonable to say he ran one mile altogether? So let's just do some math. Let's take our easy fractions to add. So here is one half, that's easy to work with. And now one tenth, put that as zero. And we can say one half plus zero is one half. This is your reasonable estimate. So if we wanted to say reasonably how much did he run, and we used benchmarks to make it easier for us to do the math, we could say, well, he really only ran about a half a mile. A half is his reasonable estimate. Now let's look at C. It says, compare your reasonable estimate to the answer found in the story problem. Well, the story problem said one. Is a half plus zero one? No way. It's not, a half plus zero is a half. So this is not a reasonable estimate. So if Jimmy ran around telling everybody he ran a mile, he would not be telling the truth because Jimmy really only ran about a half a mile. All right, so let's go ahead and add our page numbers to our benchmark, and then we can go back and add it to our table of contents and even to your glossary. See you next time.